Okay guys, today I'm back for another video and today I'm going to be doing another one of my Blu-ray collections. I've done one of these in October, but I'm doing it again here in January because I would like to start doing one of these every January at the start of the year. I think it's a lot more tidier that way. But uh, yeah, also, as you can tell, uh, uh, you'll find uh, that my Blu-ray box sets and steelbooks have been moved to this little shelf here. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to show these ones first and then I'll show the ones on the shelf. So, okay guys, so I'm going to start showing them this. First up we have the Rocky Undisputed Collection, all includes all six films. Really do like these films, one of my favourite film series of all time. But uh, I think the sixth one is my favourite. Spider-Man Trilogy, watched some of these recently. Uh, I still stand by what I said that Spider-Man 2 is, I think, awesome. But uh, Spider-Man 1 is not as good as The Amazing Spider-Man and Spider-Man 3 is pretty horrible. Scream Trilogy, do like these films, I really do. Uh, first one is pretty good. Uh, two and three are okay, but I really do need to get the fourth one on Blu-ray to complete my collection of Scream films on Blu-ray. The Batman Motion Picture Anthology, 1989-1997. Uh, Batman and Batman Returns are pretty good, um, but Batman Forever and Batman and Robin are pretty awful. Um, the Superman Motion Picture Anthology, 1978-2006. My favourite out of this is the first movie, Superman the movie. Superman 2 is pretty good as well, and I actually think Superman Returns is okay. Um, but, um, yes, as for Superman 3 and Superman 4 Quest for Peace, I think they suck. Um, Back to the Future trilogy, again, awesome films. The first one's the best, though. Um, the Alien Anthology, uh, Alien and Aliens are awesome. I prefer Aliens over Alien. <coughs> but, um, and Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection are just okay. Uh, onto the Steelbooks now, we have the Shawshank with Steel Steelbook. One of my favourite films of all time. Jaws, I uh, talked about how much I like this Steelbook and the, and the Blu-ray itself in the Top 5 Blu-rays of the Year video. Same with this one, the E.T. Um, just to say that Jaws and E.T. are again one of my favourite films of all time. Along with this one actually, Forrest Gump. Just an awesome film. X-Men Orders Wolverine. Um, it's okay, not the best. The Incredible Hulk, one of those horizontal um, steel books. I think this is much better than 2003 Hulk. Um, the Avengers HMV exclusive steel book. Uh, just the film's awesome, and the steel book is pretty nice as well. Love the design in this steel book. Another HMV exclusive steel book, Men in Black 3. My favourite of the Men in Black franchise. The Amazing Spider-Man, really nice steelbook. I talked about this a lot in my uh, top five Blu-rays of the year video. And then we have my two Hellboy steelbooks. Hellboy, I won this in a contest. And Hellboy 2, which I got recently. Uh, just to complete little, little Hellboy steelbook collection. So that's nice to have all, both Hellboy films in steelbook form. Okay guys, so I'm at the shelf now. And I'm just going to go through each shelf. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'll pull these ones out. I think I'll just show you guys the spines. But um, yeah, so first up, we've got the two more box sets. Uh, so we've got Star Wars The Complete Saga and The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. Onto the slip covers, we have Prometheus, Stand By Me, Serenity, King Kong, 127 Hours, A Christmas Carol, Avatar, Bad Boys, Battle Los Angeles, Clash of the Titans, Fast and Furious 5, Harry Potter and the Death Hallows Part 2, Paul, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, 7, which I got recently, and that's a really nice slip cover. I'm looking forward to watching that. Source Code, The A Team, The Thing, Total Recall, the 1990 original version, and uh, Unstoppable. And then we have the slip covers that only go up to the blue banner at the top Sanctum, The Crazies. And the raid, and then we're on to the regular Blu ray cases now. We have Alien vs Predator, Alien vs Predator 2, Requiem, Black Hawk Down, Captain America the First Avenger, Daredevil Dread to Scott, Enter and Enter the Dragon. And that's the first shelf. Uh, I also have a Hobbit book, um, just for the sake of it, seeing that Lord of the Rings is here. Uh, but on to the second shelf now. So again, I'm just going to go through these on the second shelf. So we have Faster. Friday the 13th, Ghostbusters, Green Lantern, Gremlins, Halloween, Kick-Ass, 
Land of the Dead, Miami Vice, Predator, Predator 2, Predators, that's actually a slipcover, but I just put it here, seeing that the two Predator movies are here as well. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Shrek, The Final Chapter, or Shrek Forever After The Final Chapter, Super 8, The Book of Eli, The Fly, The Fog, The Goonies, The Hurt Locker, The Karate Kid Original, I actually found it was quite grainy when I watched it. Um, then we have the remake, the Karate Kid remake, The Last Airbender, the, the Muppets, the, Term, uh, the Terminator, Terminator 2, The Wrestler, Thor, Transformers Dark of the Moon, X-Men First Class, which again is a slub cover, but I just put it here with all the other X-Men movies, and X-Men Orders Wolverine is a steelbook, so that's over there, um, back there. Um, X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men The Last Stand, Zombieland, and on to, on to the Disney's now, we have Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, 101 Dalmatians, and the Fox and the Hound, and that's shelf two. Okay guys, so now we're on to the third and the final shelf. Um, so the rest of the Disney's, we have Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Dinosaur, and Tarzan. Um, and now on to the Pixar's, which I have all of, except for Finding Nemo, well I have that on DVD, but um, when that comes out on Blu-ray, um, in this country, I'll definitely be picking that up to complete my Pixar, um, Blu-ray collection, um, so yeah, Toy Story 1 and 2, and Toy Story 3, which, um, yeah, they're my, I don't know, I'm contemplating what's my favourite trilogy, um, the Toy Story trilogy or the Lord of the Rings trilogy, which I just finished up watching today, I just finished up watching Return of the King today, and it was amazing, that's probably my favourite of the trilogy, um, so yeah, uh, but anyway, uh, A Bug's Life, Monsters Inc., The Incredibles, Cars and Cars 2, Ratatouille, Wally, Up, and Brave. So that's all the Pixar's. And then we have a TV series, uh, just to finish it off. Uh, Walking Dead Seasons 1 and 2. Awesome TV show. If you haven't seen these before, I definitely recommend it. And I can't wait for Season 3 to come on Blu-ray. In fact, I can't even wait for Season 3 to come on TV because, um, as might, some of you might know, they showed the first eight episodes, I believe, and then they went off for a break, and they're coming back with the last eight episodes and uh, of the season in um, February. So I'm looking forward to that, and then I'll be looking forward to getting them blurry, because so far it's been great, season three. Uh, much better than season two. Um, and then we have Prime Evil Series 4 and The Pacific, which is uh, a nice tin edition there. That's really nice, nice and embossed. And, yeah, so... Also, I still need to show the the big box set, so that's what I'll show right now. And guys, the big box sets are right beside this shelf here with the uh, regular box sets and the steel books. They're down here, and down here you find the Rambo grenade set, and the Dark Knight Rises Broken Backhill set, and the Jurassic Park trilogy set. Uh, th these are in other videos that I've done. Uh, this was in my Christmas update. I've done a unboxing of this so you can go check that out and this was I opened this up and all that in my last blurry um collection video so yeah but I'll just show them again. Probably get a better shot of that. Yeah I'll try try and give you a better shot of that. And yeah, maybe you can see it. Um so yeah. And yeah guys I hope you enjoyed my blurry collection. I um, also hope you like my new style where instead of pulling them out constantly like this I was um, just going through them all like that. Um, because the reason I decided to do that is because you know by next year I'll have more and the videos get longer and longer especially with me doing this constantly. Um, and I thought I might as well just start this year rather than having it all new next year but um yeah, once again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll be back with more videos soon, and thanks for watching. Bye.